please subscribe before moving on. Thank you. Now, before we begin to add some HTML to make these look pretty, what I want us to do is let's go back to the profile of this user. Mm -hmm. So now if I'm uh, browsing this user's profile and I think, oh, let me send this person a message. So I'll click there, bam, new message, right? But I'm going to look like an idiot if I start typing a message, a new message here, not realizing that we've been talking already because there's so many people on social websites that sometimes you forget you actually talked to this person already. It would be nice if when I click on start new message, if they are old messages, it just sends me to those messages instead of coming to start new message, right? Sounds like a good idea. So what I will do instead is have something redirect us if that new message exists. So the best way to do that is to check right at the top. So let's go to messages.php. And the problem is we cannot redirect a user down here. So I don't know if you've ever tried this, but let me come down to where it says start new message, right? Let me try and redirect somebody here. I will say something like header, of course. And then I will say something like location. Let me just put any location here. I'll just say index.php. Not really caring what this is about. And I will say die as usual. So let's come back here and refresh the page. Uh oh, the page isn't redirecting properly. Hmm. So it is trying to redirect there, but Normally, I think there's a setting in my php.ini that I didn't tick, which does not allow the buffer to flush once headers have been sent already. Okay. But normally, uh, it's supposed to give you an error saying headers were already sent. So if you see that kind of error, it says cannot redirect user headers already sent. It means... Um, uh you are trying to redirect a user after they've already loaded some html which is right here so as disappointing as this demonstration was we are not going to condone this so i'll copy i'll remove that and go upward instead and redirect the user now that redirecting actually um, was valid there because we have to avoid a continuous loop of redirection. Let's say, for example, if um, let me refresh the page here again. Oh, back. There we go. Messages. So, if for example, I put a redirect right after loading the page, no if statement, nothing, just a redirect then the page will redirect to itself. And once it redirects, it will just continue redirecting in a loop. And then that's when you see that message saying, the page isn't redirecting properly. Okay, so to avoid those kind of thing, uh, headers should always, these redirects should always be inside if statements, just to make sure that sometimes they can redirect and other times they don't. So in our case, we need to check for a few things before we try to redirect the user. So the things we are checking is to see whether this is a new message, okay? And we already have a check for that, which is right here. So let's copy this check, this wonderful check here, and let's go right at the top. Before we do any of these things, it's better to redirect the user immediately so what i will do here is um, okay maybe we can just check if we are logged in eh, that's good enough hey, user boom boom okay i think we can put it right here after all that security checkup <clears throat> check if other if old 
or if the thread already exists yeah let's do that right there there we go wrong bracket of course mm -hmm. okay so if this is true then this is a new message of course yeah, that's what we'll say new message bam bam check okay so we already have a way to check for this thing so since we are using a message class quite a lot we are i think better off just uh initializing it right at the top here that way we do it once and we forget so let's come down here and delete all references to this since we already declared it at the top you can redeclare it if you want uh, that's no problem but you're using up needed memory space by creating a new instance okay so at this point what we want to do is to read from the database so we still need to copy the code that is right here this is the code we are using to check if a thread already exists yes copy so let's go up here and do, 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 do. there we go let's paste it right there so data is equal to i think let's call it more appropriately uh, old thread or something like that old thread is equal to read that okay good now if this is array otherwise it will be false if it's not array so I'm going to say old thread if is array old thread then Eureka we have an old thread here so let's redirect the user so redirect the user so where do we redirect this user I'm glad you asked well we already have a read here so we're just going to copy that because this is where we take the user once we make our first message we take the user there so why not take the user there again very good if we don't find a thread we ignore it so let's put this to the test refresh and there we go so let me go back to this uh, user's profile so if now I click on message boom I'm taken to this instead of new messages just say chatting and then I can see our previous messages yes yes let's go back to my uh, profile let's look for other users over here let's go to John captain because I know definitely we don't have a message with this one so let me click on message and as you can see it's showing me start new message with John very nice let's go back to where we have a message already click messages okay so in the next video we will uh, add some HTML so that our messages look more like messages instead of uh, this code right here okay so I'll see you in the next video